So when you're trying to find salamanders, there are certain logs that are better than other logs to look for. And one of them is you don't want a log that is just, just freshly laid down. They, although you can find them sometimes, like, like this one's fairly recently laid down because you can see there's still a lot of leaf litter, it's not just dirt. And you can find salamanders here, but you'd have to kind of dig around in the leaf litter a little bit for them. It's better if the log has been there just a little bit longer. If it's been there just a little bit longer and it's just kind of more, more little dirt and more the matter has decayed, they, I just tend to have better luck finding them in those kind of areas. But uh, you never know. But if they're too deep, especially if you're having a difficult time, it's so deep that you can't pull it out of the ground, then a salamander is probably not going to be under that log. So you could just leave it be. Let's see. And this one, you can see it's still got a lot of fresh green under it, so it's not been down very long. Um, we got some cool bugs and stuff, but no salamanders. Um, in fact, most of these logs, it looks like, were fairly recent. So, again, you can, you can find them. They're just harder to see. Got to really dig around to see them. Especially, we have these little salamanders, the Petrachoseps, these little slender salamanders that are really hard to see. They camouflage really well. All right, let's go find some logs. So if you find a really cool salamander and after, you know, spending a few minutes with him or taking a few pictures and we want to put him back, the best way to do that is to actually roll the log over first and then put him next to the log as opposed to putting him down and rolling the log on top of him, which sounds obvious, but, um, you know, it can happen very easily. So I'm going to put the log back where I found it and then just kind of set him down next to it and he'll kind of go back on his own.